Here is Frank in Albany. Frank, I'm glad you called. Great to have you on the program. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for taking my call. And just uh, before I get to my point, I just want to give a little shout out. Shout out to uh, Mr. Stern, the uh, what an intelligent uh, just got to the core of my issue and helped me along with it. And uh, uh, and I just want to also st- uh, the the speech that you made for Mr. Kit Carson um, was just so genuine and heartfelt uh, that. Um, the, your description of him, if more men, uh, more people in the world were like him, uh, we'd be in a much better place. And um, just want to say that it was, uh, uh, I wish I could have gotten to know him. Well, thank, 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 you, you, thank you very much. You, 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 you say that Mr. Sturdy helped you focus on your the point you wanted to discuss here? Yes, he did, because I was... <laughs> well, let's let's test that out. Let, let's see. Let, <laughs> let's see how you do. So, what, what is it well, you called I, about, Frank? Well, what you were talking about earlier, I, I thought about a month ago, and I was just, I almost pulled over. I was so mad at my, uh, mad at things, and I said, why didn't I think of this earlier? W- with all this riot stuff going on, all I thought about was somebody had, somebody just said, you know what? Let's these, let's, let these people do whatever they want, because we're going to assume they can't control themselves. Instead of going out there and saying, listen, you do anything, and you're going to get arrested. No, it was more like, well, we understand you guys can't control yourself, so we're going to let you do whatever you want to do, you know, blow off some steam, kind of like you said earlier. Right. Uh, it's just, and, and the liberal media that just absolutely doesn't call them on it. Or our friends, uh, Mr. Jesse Jackson, or, or our, uh, uh, our other friend there, um, oh, I can't think of his name right now, Sharpton. Why didn't they come out and say, listen, Look how they're treating you. They think that you can't control yourself. That's why they're letting you do this kind of stuff. Well, no, there's a great answer to the question. They don't want them to be responsible. They want to be responsible for them. They don't want these people to respond to reason. They don't. They're not trying to help these. It's the bottom line. They're not trying to help these people. Uh, I have chosen to categorize this in a in a way. I'm always trying to come up with ways of describing things that'll help me persuade people what's really going on. Now, here you have, in the case of Ferguson, or now in Baltimore, you have the grievance industry on parade. And a grievance, if your grievance is against the country, then as far as the left concerned, it's valid. Whatever your grievance is, and you are going to be represented, and you're going to be encouraged in acting out that grievance. Because the desire here is not for... I know what you're saying. Why doesn't Al Sharpton or the Reverend Jackson get their megaphones out and go to where the protesters are raising hell and say, did you hear what this mayor said? This mayor said that you people have to be given space to go out and destroy because that's what you're going to do. Well, how about shaping up and exhibiting a little self-restraint and some responsibility and let's not go about it this way. Jesse Jackson will say that in private to a group here or a group there. He'll disavow it if his remarks are caught on camera or a microphone. But he has, in private, and small groups said that. But in public, never. No way. He is not going to, and and neither will Sharpton, he's not going to say to these people, you've just been insulted. The mayor just said you can't control yourselves. The mayor just said that you're out of control. The only way to deal with you is to let you go ahead and make fools of yourselves. Well, show them you're different. That's not, that wouldn't serve the purpose of the cause. The grievance industry requires people angry. The grievance industry helps fulfill and portray the idea that this country is unfair, that it's unjust, that it is immoral, and it has been that way since its first days. And what they want you to think is happening is that finally, after 230 plus years, the aggrieved have had it. They've reached their limit and they're now standing up and they are demanding redress. They are demanding fairness. They are demanding equality. And this, in fact, publicly is what the Reverend Sharpton and Jackson promote. What you're suggesting is a good idea, but this is what responsible parents do uh, or responsible mentors. A parent or responsible mentor is trying to get anybody to be the best they can be. 
He's trying to inspire people to live the right way and um, you know have good manners and all that. But that's not a factor here. There is no mentoring going on. In fact, the encouragement is all the other way. They throw gasoline on these riots. They throw fuel on these fires. That'd be the worst thing could ever happen for Sharpton and Jackson if this stuff stopped happening, and there wouldn't be any need for them. That's see, that's the, that that that's the real bummer about all this. These people's lives are in a process of being utterly, totally destroyed and rendered meaningless in the long haul of things, and they're being encouraged. Nobody's trying to motivate them, inspire them to seek greater heights, be better than they can be. Now, when that's brought up, people laugh at you. Say, yeah, you just don't understand, Rush. That, that doesn't work for the people we're talking about. It works for everybody. Human beings are human beings.